yields back. The gentleman from Massachusetts Reserves, gentlelady from Michigan, is recognized. Mr. Speaker, how much time does each side have? Gentlelady from Michigan has 17 minutes. The gentleman from Massachusetts has 16 and a half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I, I now yield as much time, um, five minutes, to Mr. Lawler. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, I joined my colleague Anthony D'Esposito in introducing a resolution to expel disgraced former Congressman George Santos. It was warranted. It was warranted because he defrauded the voters, he defrauded donors. He's facing a 23 count indictment. He did not belong in Congress. I was willing to take on a member of my own party and reduce our majority by one because he was unfit to serve. Now, as a congressman from the 17th District of New York, I share Westchester County with Mr. Bowman. I have gotten to know Mr. Bowman throughout the course of my tenure here in Congress. We've even flown home together to Westchester County Airport. What happened on September 30th was wrong. I'm sure he's embarrassed. He should be. As a former middle school principal, he understands the difference between a locked door and a fire alarm. To suggest somehow he was confused is laughable. As the video evidence shows, he did push the door. And it being locked, it didn't open. But he then took down the signs, threw one on the ground, carried one, walked over to the fire alarm on the wall, and pulled the fire alarm. It didn't say, pull to exit, it didn't say, in case of a locked door, open the fire alarm and the door will open. No, it said, in case of emergency, pull fire alarm. He then proceeded to throw the other sign on the ground and ran past seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Capitol Hill police officers and did not utter one word about accidentally and embarrassingly pulling a fire alarm. And in fact, when the bolo went out and the Capitol Hill police came to question him about it, he lawyered up. He then went and met with Leader Jeffries. That's not taking accountability right away. That's not taking responsibility. And in fact, a few days after it happened, he called me directly to ask me, please don't get on a censure or an expulsion resolution. And I said to him, I will not do anything until I hear from the Capitol Hill police as to what happened. And he told me, oh, I won't be charged. They're dismissing it. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. Well, they ended up referring it to prosecutors. He was charged. And he pled guilty. I don't think he should be expelled. I think what he did was wrong. I don't think it was an accident. It was absolutely done to disrupt a proceeding. 
as the Democrats were pulling all sorts of stunts that day, and including walking single file in to vote by paper, even though they all had their electronic voting cards. Hakeem Jeffries doing his magic minute. We all know what it was. So let's be honest. Let's take accountability here. If you're taking accountability, then you should actually tell your colleagues, you know what? I did wrong. I accept the censure. Instead, you're sitting there smirking and laughing. I don't think your constituents think it's funny. In fact, I know they don't think it's funny. Because the amount of times I get calls from your constituents. Gentleman's time has expired. More minute. An additional the, minute. The your amount reference. of times I get calls from your constituents, the amount of times my office gets inundated with requests from your constituents, like when you shut your office down for two weeks in August, all offices shut down. You know how many cases we had to take on? Or Jewish constituents. No, it's not. Jewish, Jewish constituents. Or gentlemen's recognized. Jewish constituents who don't feel that they can go to you for help. So they don't think it's funny. The people of Westchester County don't think it's funny. And so I encourage all of my colleagues to vote in favor of this censure. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Members are again reminded to direct the remarks to the chair. Uh, uh, gentlelady reserves, gentleman from Massachusetts is Mr. recognized. Speaker, let me just say to my Republican colleagues, are you listening to yourselves talk? I mean, we're in, we're in the House chamber. Heads of state address uh, this, this body. We have debates about war and peace, and, and you're talking about a fire alarm? I mean, give me a break. Suspend. Members are reminded to direct their remarks to the chair, please.